everybody welcome back uh, it's been a while since I've done a camping video it's like it's been a year and like a month or something or two months year and two months um, but it's pretty cold it's like high 30s right now outside tonight it's gonna be like low 30s though so. so back in my truck I have what I hope to be warming <laughs> So as I was saying before the memory card stopped, um, we're gonna go ahead and head to Walmart and get a steak, cook it, and we're gonna truck camp. So we're gonna see how it goes. I'm about 20 minutes from our Walmart, so we're gonna see how it goes, and hopefully I can find a nice steak. I'm just guess where y'all at. It's back up to 379. Oh, my truck's dirty. <laughs> got stuck in the yard all right guys we're at walmart i'm not gonna have the quality of this really good because it just won't export properly so we're gonna go in and see what kind of steak they have and i also need some propane canisters all right so let me get a pack of these i did have some of these but we use them for our, one of these torches at home so i can get some more because the grill and the uh, little buddy heater run off these so let's go see if there's any steak so that's the selection guys there's not many it's just kind of small I was thinking this one right here 1077 there's not a lot of fat on it it's around the edge so I think that one's good enough it's like I gotta get such a big bundle it's three dollars for this bundle but We'll go ahead and get it. I'm gonna probably have half of this tonight. So. All right guys, so we are in the parking lot, so it's gonna be noisy, but um, we have our old nifty grill right here. Here's the little buddy heater. We're right next to the highway. There's the Walmart up there. I couldn't go too close, and really I shouldn't anyway, since I'm in the back of the truck. Um, they're playing music outside, so. That always sucks, doesn't it? But, um, here's our little propane canisters. What I'll do is I'll cook on this, and then when I'm done, I'll take the tank out of this, put it into the buddy heater, so I don't gotta waste any. Um, I'll show you inside of the truck in a bit here, but um, basically I have a plate with an onion and some butter, and then right here I have The hookup for that. And like you guys seen inside of Walmart, there's the asparagus and there's the steak. So we're gonna see how it goes. I'm trying to keep the asparagus nice and clean. Oh and also Walmart had pecans and walnuts on sale. So they were a dollar a bag. I couldn't leave them. So maybe I'll have some of those later. But I'll show you in the back of the truck here real quick. Um, it's quite simple. There's my curtains in the sides. There's the bedroll. I have a heated blanket. It takes two power um, outlets. Two 110s plugged into well the wall, which is our Super Base Pro right there, and I have that ran through a hole that I burnt into my canvas bed roll, and then inside of there's the the um, heated blanket, and then under that I have my sleeping bag and obviously a pillow. But yeah, there's a Super Base Pro. I brought some of my uh, lights that were behind my computer. And I'm going to have those in here for light instead of a lantern because the lantern always dies or something happens. So, And there's my bag with just random stuff in it. So we're going to start cooking here. I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up and uh, get it going. All right, guys. So we're going to start this up. That one's lit. Start this side. 
it does a little pilot light and then it hits the rest of the little holes that are in the pipes. But um, I really do like this stove. I've used it from a couple years ago actually. I'm going to go ahead and heat it up, get it nice and hot. I did clean it last time I used it, but I mean, if you let something sit like this for a long time with old pieces of burger on it, you know, it's going to it's gonna need cleaned again. So I brought this spray, actually. It's a uh, olive oil spray. One side's going to be asparagus, and then the one side's going to be the steak. And um, you guys are going to be very happy with me. I stopped eating well done steak. I mean, obviously, I still like well done, but I I don't overkill the steak anymore. I probably still will, but like, I don't do it like I used to. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in there, and I'm actually gonna hook up the lights and see how bright the lights are. Um, I can show you guys the lights real quick. These um, they're kind of fancy. They're Philips Hue and they're out of my room, so I'm just gonna plug them in and see how they go. Alright guys, so this is looking pretty epic right now. <laughs> so basically I put I put this light up here and I have it shining through back of my truck cap. And then I have the other one stood up on top of the Super Bass Pro. I've used that in a bunch of videos, it's awesome. But um I have those lights pointed back in the corner and then this one on the top. But we got this, uh, what's it? What's it say? Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Rub. And we're gonna see how that is. And uh, here's the spray I'm gonna use for the um, asparagus. But real quick, we gotta scratch this lottery ticket. No, I don't think you guys should do lottery. Um, this is Pennsylvania Lottery. Whenever I do lot the lottery tickets, I only buy one or two, and that's either a two dollar one or two one dollar ones. And today I just bought one one dollar one. So we're gonna see if we get a free ticket, and uh, I'll let you guys know how that goes. But I'm also gonna I still haven't wiped this off. I just want to show you guys how nice it looked inside of here with those lights. Well, we got a free ticket. <laughs> I guess I uh, said the wrong thing. Maybe I should have said, uh, hopefully we don't get $100. It was $30 for two propane cans, asparagus, and this. I mean, this is an, you know, $14 steak, but. All right. I really hope someone in Walmart's just watching me out here. I really do. So, we're gonna go ahead. I'm not gonna spray it directly on the grill because it will throw flames everywhere. I'm just gonna wipe this grill down. It is getting pretty cold out. I got on Crocs with socks. Thin socks that is. So uh I'm just gonna wipe this off. You gotta see all the looks people are giving me. <laughs> I don't know if you heard a bit ago but some college kids went by and were yelling. We're right next to a college so um they all come to this Walmart to get their food. But we're going to go ahead and grab the asparagus. It's behind you guys. And I'm going to grab a few. I'm not going to eat half of this. I don't know why I said half. That's a lot. I'm just going to lay this asparagus on here like this. I have never done asparagus. I've eaten it like this, but I've never actually cooked it myself. I just know I do enjoy asparagus. Especially with steak, it's pretty good. I've only had it once with steak like this. Actually, I think I'm gonna stick with that amount right there and save the rest, because I'll end up wasting it. The steak's so big. It doesn't look big from the top, but it's very wide. So. There's our asparagus. I'm gonna let this cook for a bit, because the steak won't take extremely long. And um, for the steak, I'm probably going to do it on the ground or on the edge of the spot here, just in case it starts flaming, which it, it's probably going to flame a bit, so I'm not really worried about it. But. All right, so we're going to let this asparagus go. I'm going to give it a tiny spray. 
This will probably flame a little bit, which is, which is fine. Check that out. So I'm gonna let that cook and I'm gonna keep rolling it until it gets starts getting sort of soft. And then we're gonna go ahead and throw the steak on, which is right here. Check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and season it now. All right guys, so I forgot about this completely. First we're gonna throw some seasoning. Check that steak out. Ooh. I said prime, prime steak, so. Gonna go ahead and, <laughs> guys, you should see the looks I get here. It's hilarious. I've never done the truck camping in public. I've done the truck camping once. I like a lot of seasoning. I've done the truck camping once, and it was out in the middle of the woods almost, so. We're gonna go ahead and chop up this onion that I almost forgot about, but I didn't. That's good. There's also some butter in here. Not a whole ton of butter. Usually I use a ton, but. All I had today was a cup of cereal because I'm back on my diet because I'm getting quite a bit back. As you guys can probably tell. But we're going to go ahead and throw in this bit of butter. And then we're going to chop our onion up. Try not to cut a hole in this foil because there will be butter everywhere. That's not good. Chop this onion up. We'll go ahead and put the butter on afterwards, after it's done, because I don't want to start a huge, huge fire in the back of the truck here. So I'm just going to keep chopping this up. Not special. That's all I wanted. I just wanted it nice and chopped up enough. We're gonna go ahead and ball this up like a little wonton so the butter don't spill out. And I'm gonna set that on there and let it cook. So I'll see you guys in a bit whenever it's time to put the steak on. Alright guys, time to put the steak on. These are about half done. I'm just gonna let them cook over here. We're gonna go ahead and put this steak on. We're gonna put it seasoning down. It's definitely gonna flame up, which I expect to happen, which is fine. I don't think it'll do too much. It'll just probably get to about here. You can't see it. It won't go too high. Definitely gonna be flames though, because there's a lot of fat on this. But um, we're gonna go ahead and put seasoning on this side. And I don't think I need this oil anymore. So I'm gonna put the oil away. But we're gonna let that cook. This thing actually does put off some good heat. I am really cold. I don't know, it's cold out. Um, like I said, I have these Crocs on. So I'm hoping my feet stay warm enough. But, I mean, we'll have to see. So, this, this light's pretty good though. I didn't expect that to work that well. But I guess it does. So we're gonna let the steak cook and I'll get back to you when it's almost done. I'd be so upset if I was someone driving through Walmart parking lot right now. I've seen so many people and they just drive by and stare at this steak that I have. It's smoking pretty good because it has a lot of fat, but I have the thing that the steak come in underneath to catch all the oil that comes out, so. The onions are doing pretty good though. Check the steak out. I'll let you guys watch that for a second. I'm gonna flip it in about, and let me look. I'm gonna flip it in about another minute or two. Probably a minute. But these asparagus, 
These asparagus are pretty good. The end didn't fully cook all the way yet. The ends are a lot bigger, so they take a while. But a lot of these ends, these ends are pretty good. I have saved some of it for the steak, but you get the point. It's pretty good. The onions, though. Oh, they look good. See how hot it is, but they're not. They're not done yet. We're gonna go ahead and flip steak. Oh yeah. Check that out. Ooh. <laughs> That's perfect. That is perfectly done. I'll see you when it's when that side's almost done basically. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take this steak off of here. Should be about perfect. We're gonna go ahead and take it off. Should be medium well. Or medium. Right medium well. I didn't I didn't cut into it, I didn't do nothing. You know? You don't wanna cut into a steak. I know I used to do that. You don't wanna cut into a steak because then as it's cooking you let all the juices out. I already ate like all the asparagus, so yeah, never mind that part. It's really good for no reason. But um look at these onions. Man. Look at those onions. So we're gonna set them there. And what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna let this cool down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and unhook the propane. And then we're gonna hop in the truck. And we'll eat. So, whatever this is at right now, is what it's at. Check that out. Ho 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 ho. Looks pretty good. That foil ball went in the way. So, we'll see how it is. Should be pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and unhook this propane, and I will see you guys whenever it's time to eat it. All right, so here's our current setup at Walmart. Uh, we have our lights over there. There's the Super Base Pro. Here's our little buddy, which I have the tailgate open, and I have it aimed this way so the heat comes this way and air can get in behind. Obviously that's overkill uh, airflow, but this also has a low oxygen power off switch as well. So over there is my hidden woodsman bag, which I love. I love hidden woodsman. That's my corn bag. I call that the Pennsylvania corn bag. But uh, right over here next to me, oh man, look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start eating here. I'm gonna set you guys by the little buddy and um, we're gonna see how this steak is that heater's nice nice and warm so let's cut into it let's see how it looks when I cut into it oh yeah oh, oh, oh. oh yeah I eat it like that now guys with some pink in it oh yeah that's a real fatty part, there's some blood in there, but we'll take another cut real quick, just to see the, that was a lot of fat on that piece. Oh man, look at that, medium well. That is medium well right there. And if you can see the pink in the middle, it's got some nice coloring. Oh yeah. All right, so. Let's see how this goes. It's weird, I haven't made a camp video in a while, but. Oh. After not eating all day, it's pretty good. Let's try some onions. Oh my gosh. 
Pretty good, guys. Takes forever to chew. I don't like choking. That is really good, guys. Like, extremely good. Um, I cooked it perfectly. It's medium well, and it's, it's hard to see it on camera. It's actually a little bit under medium well. It's just like medium. I don't know if that's how you say it. It's just medium. Well, I don't want to bore you guys with just eating here. It's a big piece of fat. I'm thinking of getting a Junior Frosty from Wendy's after this. Just head on over. Wendy's is right over there. Oh my gosh. If you were to go and get this from somewhere, like if you were to go and get it from Texas Roadhouse or Longhorn or Outback, this would cost a lot of money. It cost me $13. So I can't remember. I've basically shown everything that I brought. Um, the only other thing that I brought, we have waters in this uh, power pack to charge my phone. Once again, another shout out in this video, but this is all stuff that I use all the time. Dakota Lithium sent me these power boxes. They sent me two of these a while ago, and they didn't want a review or anything. They just sent them to me. So, these things are awesome. I use them all the time. I mainly use these to charge devices that take USB. So, that stays up next to where I lay. Basically, I just have those curtains that I've had for a while. My sister made and I have those up. And then the bedroll. So, not long before it's time for bed, I'm just going to um, go ahead and... Oh, man. This, stuff's so... this steak is so good, guys. Not long before bed, I'm going to preheat it and plug it into the super base. It's saying it could run those two lights for 62 hours. 62 hours just for those lights. And as far as the heated blanket goes, like I said, it takes two of them because it's a queen size. So there's the two power adjusters and I have them through a hole here. So whenever it's time to preheat the bed, I'll have them plugged in, and then I'll just click it and preheat it. So, yeah. It's nice having these curtains, you know. Obviously, people can still see me, see me out behind you guys, but I'm not really worried about it. But this steak, oh my gosh. It's hard for you to see. I just want to let you guys know that it I didn't overcook it like I always did. Um, it's hard for you guys to tell, but it's pink in the middle. So, it's all good. So, I'm going to enjoy this. I have nothing to do. I'm going to play music on my phone. I don't have service or anything. It's been shut off. So, I'm just going to have uh, downloaded music playing, and I'm going to eat the steak. So I'll see you guys after that. What's up guys? Um, I have it on night vision just because I don't feel like turning the lights on and blinding myself right now. Um, but I'm like starting to fall asleep because this heater is really... So like from right where the curtains stop into the ceiling it just gets warm to hot but right at like the level I lay it's cold and that's obviously because the tailgate's open um, before I go to bed I'm gonna have it shut obviously and I'm gonna have this running for a bit while I'm up and then before I go to bed I'm gonna shut it off the only thing with these is you know they have a lot of safety features on them but you know if I was to push something close enough to it it'd probably catch on fire um, I'm not really worried about a fire part that that Part doesn't worry me it's just if there's no airflow for this basically it can just eat like all of the oxygen up and then there's no oxygen and then obviously that's how it kills you um, but yeah you just need some air all I'd have to do is crack a window but I just don't feel safe with it on while I'm sleeping in this small space so 
obviously there's a heated blanket in this, which I'm hoping works good enough. But like, um, I'll get it really hot in here, turn that off, go to bed with the heated blankets. And hopefully that, hopefully that works good enough and I'm not freezing. Um, so yeah, um, I'm thinking I'm, I was gonna get a, one of the Frosties, but I don't know. I'm gonna go over to Sheets, the gas station, which is right, literally right over there. Hiccups, or I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I was gonna go over to Sheets and sit for a bit, go on my phone for a bit, and then I was gonna come back over and go to bed. So, I just wanna make sure I can text the people and then I'll leave the internet from there and then come back over here in the parking lot park. I'm probably gonna park over that way. Um, where I'm at right here, it's it's kind of up a bit. It's like a third way up of the parking lot, which I think is just too far up. So I'm gonna go ahead and once I come back over, I'm gonna pull towards the end of the driveway. And uh, cause I'll wake up and there's gonna be like cars around me and stuff if I sleep well. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut the heater off, close this up, and go over to Sheets, and then I will see you guys when I come back over here. Alright guys, so it's uh, 9.36pm. Um, I sat in Sheets for a bit there uh, watching a YouTube live stream. wasn't a happy one, but uh, I sat and watched, and now I'm back. And yeah, 9.36. Usually at home, I'll go to bed at like 3 in the morning. Um, I'm going to try to go to bed now. It's very cold outside. I mean, it's not like it was. Like, It's a lot better than what it was like even a couple days ago. But it's still very cold out. <laughs> In the back of the truck, it's cold when that heater's off. Like I said, I'm not leaving it on. I'm letting the heated blanket hopefully work and warm up this bedroll. And then I'll get in the bedroll. So, we'll see. Um, if anyone tries anything here at Walmart, I do have my mermaid knife. So if uh, anyone wants to try and break it for some reason, there is a mermaid right on it. So I have this. This was sent in fan mail a long time ago, and I've kept it really nice. I don't want to get anything on it. So this is going to be up here by me. But, um,. This thing zooms really well. There's a lot of traffic here, surprisingly. A lot of college kids, like, revving their really bad cars and stuff like that, but that's about it. But, these are, I'm gonna actually take you guys off of there. Or no, I'm not, I'm just gonna pick you guys up. Um, see, there's two of these for two power cords. And there's 10 settings, obviously 10, it just it has an H for high, for high heat. And I have them both on. So we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and get in this bedroll and I'll let you know how that is. There's other people out there, um, obviously semis, but there's a, oh, look how dusty. Or actually muddy, it's not even dusty. I need to wash this off. And uh, here's my back curtains. Obviously, I don't have them there right now because of the heater. But I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. Or leave it on for a bit, and then when I go to bed, I'll turn it off. I have this uh, back window open. So, all right. I'm going to get the bed roll and see how it is. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to try to go to bed. Um, I am zippered in to this bed roll. I am tucked in here pretty good. Heater's off. Curtains are over the end. No one could barely even see through anyways because the mud is so thick on my window. But I'm going to try to go to bed. And uh, the heated blanket is trying to work. But it's just very cold. So look at all my hair. It looks like a mop. It looks like a big mop. Look at it. There's my forehead appearing. Big forehead. Oh, and the camera's broke. Alright, well, I'm just going to let you guys lay there. Good night. Alright, guys, so... The only downfall with this truck cap is that... 
it's not extremely watertight. Um, we did put like a new seal on it and everything. So I'm hoping that it stays good enough, but I know it does leak pretty good. Um, it just started raining. I didn't think it was supposed to rain. Well, I didn't even look at the weather before I left. Um, it's 12.47 right now. I've been up for a good hour. Um, I'm just not very tired for some reason. I'm just like not tired at all. And I'm trying to sleep, but I <laughs> I'm trying to force myself, but I can't. So I'm going to keep trying to force myself to sleep. But man, those windows are cold. I had the heater on for a bit and it all the windows fogged up from it because it got so hot in here. But I turned it off and within five minutes it was already cold again in here. So Alright. Well it's almost one. I'm gonna try to go back to bed, but I'm hoping that the rain holds off. I don't know if you guys could even hear it. But if it starts downpouring for some reason I'll probably have to get out of the back of this. Cause there'd be water splashing everywhere, but I don't think it's supposed to, so all right. Well, rain is starting to pick up a little bit. There's still some rain on that window. The only problem at this point that I'm a little nervous of it's at a good temperature right now outside to turn into ice rain. And I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Because if that happens, I can't get home. <laughs> this is a two wheel drive manual truck with a long bed and no weight in the back. So. I'm just hoping this uh, rain doesn't turn into ice rain. You can see right now it's dripping down. But it's definitely cold enough to turn into it, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. It's, uh, I don't know what's wrong with me. It's, it's, it, it's one, one ten in the morning and I can't sleep. <laughs> I feel like I could run a marathon right now. Like, I literally feel like I could go on a bike ride for like an hour right now, and I'd still be completely awake. So. Uh, we'll see. Just, uh, if it does turn to ice rain, I will have to leave. But, it's still... Oh man, it is just so cold outside. But you can see it's just dripping down right now. So, all right, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Hopefully, I fall asleep. All right, guys. So it just stopped raining. Um, I'm hoping the rain stays away now, because that'd be good if it if it stays away. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's starting to leak through at this spot of the cap. This is a weak spot in the cap. You can see the water there, and it goes through here. It's more than a condensation. It's not from when the heater was on, it's actually, that's where it leaks. And then also, you guys can tell, it doesn't look like much, but I know this back of the truck, right there is one stream of water, and at the bottom is a puddle. Over here's another puddle starting to build up. And then this side's starting to get a puddle as well. Um, so we'll see. I'm just hoping it doesn't rain again. And if it does, you know, hopefully it's just a light rain. I don't think it's going to be um, freezing rain. I'm not worried about that now. It's staying pretty consistent, just normal rain. So, um,. Uh, just gotta hope it doesn't rain anymore. Because if it does, these rivets fill up. And then it goes under the bedroll and under everything else. So, yeah. Alright, I'll see you in the next clip. Alright guys, so, 
It's 2.30 right now. I still can't sleep. I just am very energetic for no reason. Still. But um, we have our mermaid. Mermaid knife. And our walnut. I already had one of these walnuts. But I'm just using this to gently wedge in. And then you just crack the nut open. I really do like walnuts. Really any like nut like this I like. Um, yeah, and Walmart had them for what? It was a dollar. It's bright. It was like a dollar. A dollar oh eight for this whole bag of walnuts. And then there's this other bag of pecans. Which I kind of prefer them like unshelled, so you gotta do it yourself. Mm. These are pretty good. Especially at 3 in the morning. I'd have to say walnuts are my favorite. I know there's all kinds, but I really do enjoy walnuts. So. I'm going to keep cracking away. I'm like a squirrel in his nest right now in the Walmart parking lot. These big semis keep going by on the highway there. With stuff not tarped down all the way or something. It's the loudest noise. But I've got the little bunny on right now. I have it on low. Because it gets kind of extremely hot in here like fast so all right I'll update you guys again all right guys so it's um 740 right now I was up for a while but I ended up falling asleep I just woke up so the uh, heated blanket was actually off uh, both things they must have timers that eventually go out they're on for a while, but they definitely were off when I woke up. But um, the heater ran out right before I went to bed. It made like a squeaking noise, which means the propane ran out and then it shut off. So I turned that off. And now it's just very cold in here. <coughs> so <coughs> it's very cold. There's uh, still water. But it ended up stopping with the rain, which was weird. It only rained for like, it rained for like half an hour and then it stopped. So, hey, good thing it didn't rain anymore. But, all right, I'm going to get around. Might go back into Walmart and get another bag of walnuts before I regret it because it's a dollar. I might do that. So, maybe I'll go back into Walmart. It looks like they're open. I think they're open at 740. I don't see why they wouldn't be. But you can see all the windows are like... They're just fogged. Completely. So, alright. It's pretty foggy out this morning. definitely cold um, I just opened this this truck bids gonna well tailgate doesn't like going down much anymore so see how that is getting out of here I'm still very tired I get tired late that's the problem and I threw on this uh, burglar looking hat and went in because that's my hair right now I'm not even gonna bother with my hair, but all right. All my windows are still like water, so it was close to uh, freezing last night, uh, but there was no ice rain, so that was good. But I'm gonna head out. Wendy's looks scary right now. Look at Wendy's. Let's zoom in on that. That's how foggy it is. 
Wendy is looking scary. But, alright, I'm gonna head home and I will see you guys in another video or live stream. So, thanks for watching.